Hi guys, my name is Sebastian and in this video I'm going to introduce you to our Dometic Büttner Blackline 110 watt solar panels, the Dometic SC330 solar charger and the Dometic TD283 display. If you are thinking about fitting a solar system like this to your van, caravan or motorhome, it's important to consider the amount of power you will require. The panels we have here are 110 watt models, which will provide more than enough power to operate all standard devices on board in the typical camping season between spring and autumn. It's also important to consider the size and layout of your vehicle to select a solar panel or solar panels that fit your vehicle roof best. The arrangement of products you may already have installed on the roof, such as roof lights or roof rack, can also have an impact. Finally, you should also take time to plan where you will install your solar charger and inverter, should you be adding one of these to your electrical system too. With the Dometic Büttner Blackline, you are free to enjoy the comforts of home on the go. Even when staying off grid, you will be able to generate enough energy to charge cameras, laptops, and run a compressor refrigerator. Dometic solar panels are available in different variations of size and construction. There are many sizes available, so there's bound to be one to suit, whether you have a panel van like this one, a caravan, motorhome, or a camper van. Dometic solar panels are available as glass panels like this one, Alternatively, Dometic supply ultra-thin, lightweight solar panels that can be fixed directly to the roof of your vehicle. This is a great option for panel vans or vehicles with high roof. Along with the solar panel that we have here, we will also install this Dometic SC330 solar charge controller. This is the latest and most innovative solar regulator for solar modules, with separate inputs for two solar panels and two battery outputs. The 330 in this product name refers to the maximum number of input watts. In our case, the Blackline 110 panels will generate 220 watts. The state-of-the-art MPPT technology maximum power point track allows you to enjoy up to 30% more energy from your solar panels. Additionally, the SC330 charger is part of the NBUS plug-and-play network. The NBUS system allows you to manage the solar charge controller and all other NBUS devices via a single controller or the new Dometic mobile app. Key to the solar setup that we have here today and to the NBUS system is this multifunctional Dometic TD283 touch display. This display gives you control of all NBUS ready devices on board. To link your devices together, connect all NBUS devices to each other with a data cable and add the TD283 display to the network. This will give you control and monitoring capabilities for your Dometic energy system. Simply look for the MBUS logo on Dometic.com or on the product box to check compatibility of your solar devices. In the future, all Dometic mobile power products will be connected via our MBUS solution and will be accessed centrally via this display or the smartphone app. When preparing to install a solar system like the Dometic Büttner Blackline 110, it's important to ensure you have all the tools you will need for the installation. First, mount the solar panel to the brackets and secure using the screws included. Once you have decided where to fit your solar panel or panels, then you must measure and clean the roof. You will also need to sand the surface of the roof ahead of the brackets installation. You can fit the electric cables to the distribution box on the underside of your solar panel. If you are installing multiple panels, be sure to run the cables in parallel. Once installed, you need to close the distribution box. These cables will run from your solar panel to your solar charger through the roof inside your vehicle. Next, you need to apply the activator to the roof and the brackets then leave to dry. Once the activator has dried, you can apply the primer. You must apply the primer to the roof and the items that you will mount, such as the brackets and the cable cover. Then leave the primer to dry. 
You are now ready to glue the brackets into place. Using your glue gun with the glue supplied, apply the glue to the brackets and then place down on the vehicle roof. Then glue the cable cover. Now connect your plus and minus solar cables, your plus and minus leisure battery cables and starter battery cables to your solar charger. When installing a solar setup like this, Dometic recommends installing a lithium battery such as this one to maximize your solar setup. Dometic Büttner lithium batteries have much faster charge times and storage capacity compared to standard AGM or gel batteries. Your new Dometic solar system is now installed and ready for your next off-grid adventure. Thank you for watching.